Welcome to the Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast, where we explore the ins and outs of building a successful career in the tech industry. My name is Rem, your Kuya Dev, and I'm excited to have you join me for this episode. Whether you're just starting out, looking to shift careers into tech, or hoping to grow more as a tech professional, this podcast is for you. Thank you for tuning in, and together, let's enjoy the episode. Is it okay to apply to companies even if you don't have the necessary experience? If you're a fresh graduate, are there companies that are accepting fresh graduates? Or even, are there companies that actually accept career shifters? And often, Kuya Dev, I see these job listings and they have these list of skills and most of them I don't have. So should I still apply? If you're noticing what I'm noticing, these questions come from, or they have similar themes. They come from a kind of mindset that's common among career starters and career shifters, especially here in tech. It's very, very common because uh, I think here in the tech industry, imposter syndrome is very prevalent. And I think the mindset that's keeping people from actually applying is the one that we call self-gatekeeping. So self-gatekeeping is, you know, gatekeeping yourself <laughs> from the <laughs> from the term. And if you're not familiar with the term gatekeeping, it's more of a way of people preventing a lot of people from getting into something. It's not just applicable in in job hunting, but also in other fields or in other aspects uh, uh, in life. Like, you know, for, for, for some certain hobbies, there are a lot of gatekeepers. Like, I'm an avid board game or tabletop game uh, enthusiast. And I've seen and and I've and I've heard stories of gatekeeping in this community of board game and tabletop gaming, in which parang sinasabihan yung mga tao na hindi ka talaga tunay na gamer pagka hindi mo nilalaro tong ganto or if you, if you don't own a certain game. And not only here in tabletop gaming, in even in other games, may mga ganyan. Kahit nga sa ano, I'm a K-pop. Actually, I'm not a K-pop fan. I'm a, I'm a Blackpink fan. May mga gatekeepers din sa K-pop industry. Like, hindi ka tunay na fan pagka hindi mo alam ang ganitong kanta ng particular na artist. And it's absurd. Na parang, um, why are you gatekeeping you know, fandom? Di ba kayo natutuwa na parang dumadami yung fans ng particular artist na sinusuportahan mo? Diba? Oh, why do you need to gatekeep? Parang we are we were here first. We were the or- original fans, diba? So we are better fans than you are. No, or you are not real fans because you weren't here when they were starting out. Parang it's a toxic it's another toxic trait of a lot of people. But of course, in the broader communities, mas onti naman sila talaga, no? Malilit na malit na party lang sila ng communities na yan, but sila yung mga maiingay. Medyo nakakainis. But they're there. So, that's gatekeeping, no? Preventing people from enjoying or from being part of something just because they don't fit a certain criteria that someone concocted. But what's worse? Okay lang yun eh. Sige gatekeeping ng ibang tao. Kayang kayang lusutan 'yon kahit bin, wag natin pansinin, di ba? But what what's worse is gatekeeping yourself. Kumbaga, pinipigilan mo 'yung sarili mo to enjoy something. Pinipigilan mo 'yung sarili mo na makapasok into something that you're interested in just because you think you're not good enough. And that's really bad because 
kalaban mo na yung sarili mo. You are o- you, you are your own worst enemy, di ba? Or your your own worst critic. And that's very harmful for your progress. Like I think alam niyo rin to, yung parang ayaw kong gawin 'yan kasi baka magkamali ako. Doon pa lang gine-gatekeep mo na ang sarili mo, di ba? You don't even try. You're preventing yourself from even trying. I just read today yung parang may magandang quote eh, uh, from Facebook na I've read na shinier ng one of my contacts in Facebook. Actually, na LinkedIn nata. Uh, whatever. But this is not verbatim. But it went something like, the first draft is actually perfect. Why? Because all the first draft has to do is to exist. It just has to exist. Diba? Kasi that's the first step of someone trying to do something just to get started. That's the, that's the most important part naman in getting into something new. Eh. Just to get started. And that first step is already perfect. Kasi yung, yung ano nga, yung, yung purpose lang niya is to exist. That first step should just exist. If you're writing a book, or writing a poem, or writing a blog post, that first draft just needs to exist. And from there, you can improve on it. You know? So, I hope you're getting what I mean here. So, wala pa tayo dun sa binanggit ko kanina about applying for jobs. No? Dun pa lang tayo sa you know, preventing yourself from actually trying. Which is very directly connected to what I was referring to at the start of the episode. Yung ayaw mo na agad mag-apply kasi feeling mo hindi ka qualified. Which is valid. Hindi ka nga naman, baka naman talaga hindi ka qualified. Pero hindi ikaw dapat ang nagkasabi nun. Hindi ikaw dapat ang magda-decide nun. Yung recruiter or yung employer, siya dapat ang magda-decide nun. Yung recruiter tsaka yung employer, hindi mo sila nabibigyan ng chance to decide if you don't apply. So the first step, the first draft, you know, is for you to actually send your application. What's the worst that can happen pag nag-apply ka na, nag, nag-submit ka ng application? They don't reply to you or they send you a rejection letter. Tapos kawalan ba 'yun sa Hindi naman. It just means na oh nga, hindi ka pa qualified for that particular position. Get what I mean here? So, yung mga question na ganun, yung parang, may, may company ba na tumatanggap ng career shifter? You will never know. Ma- walang, actually, walang sagot dyan eh. Everyone will accept if you just try. No? Any company dyan, baka naman, kahit sabihin natin Microsoft, actually, yung mga malaking tech, sila yung tumatanggap talaga ng career shifters eh. Wala lang talaga nagtatangka sa ating mga Pilipino eh. Magsambit ka, tapos bahala na sila mag-decide kung gusto ko nilang kunin or gusto ko nilang interviewin. Yun lang naman eh, makakuha ng interview eh. Of course, syempre, kasama doon, pagandahin mo yung resume mo and everything, which is another uh, topic, but the first step, apply. Send mo yung resume mo. Or, kung nasa LinkedIn ka, di, mas pinadali sa LinkedIn ata eh, meron, sa, meron silang tinatawag na quick apply, click that quick apply. Anong mawawala sa'yo? Wala naman. <laughs> Just go for it, di ba? Sobrang dali Tinig na ko yung LinkedIn. I, I've actually helped another friend na parang ngayon nag apply eh. Click-click lang. Ang bilis. Na parang less effort on your part. And the only thing that's preventing you from applying is yourself. Apply lang naman eh, di ba? Apply lang. <laughs> Kasi you're, you're getting ahead of yourself. Na mare-reject agad ako. Hindi nila ako tatanggapin. Eh, so what? Marami pa namang companies dyan. Here's what you... Is, here's uh, an insight into the tech uh, or the software development cycle. And even the startup uh, cycle that you need to know. It's that you need to get feedback 
as soon as possible. Get feedback as soon as possible and get feedback as often as possible. Kasi doon ka mag-iterate eh. Doon mo malalaman kung ano yung babaguhin mo at doon mo malalaman kung ano yung magiging track mo. Ano yung magiging next steps mo. Ano yung kailangan improve Like in the software development cycle, you would, kapag ka mabilis yung feedback through automated, automated testing, manual testing, regression testing, pag ka maganda yung cycle na yun, yung na- nailagay na system ang uh, testing, and even, you know, automated linting, makukuha mo agad yung, ano, yung, yung, yung feedback whether your software is functioning. If the feedback loop is, loop is very short, if you commit or if you, if you add a feature or uh, add a code into the application that causes a lot of regression errors, may kita mo agad. Bago pa makarating sa production. Di ba? Kasi you don't want those bugs to reach production. Eh. So as, as early as possible, kailangan mas makatch, makatch agad yun. So the feedback loop is short or is small. Makukuha agad 'yon. Which is very good for a developer, no? Hindi mo naaantayin pa na parang nagka-cross fingers ka na pagka-deploy sa production, sa mo pa lang malalaman na parang may nasira ka pala. That's going to be disastrous. Ganun din sa pag-apply ng for jobs. You need to have a short feedback loop. Kailangan mong malaman agad Ano yung kailangan mong baguhin? Ano yung kailangan mong improve on? And you can only do that through applying. Through applying, through getting interviewed, and getting failures during that interview process. Doon mo malalaman. Hindi mo malalaman yan by just reading articles. And just watching tutorials. You need real-world testing. And sa... sa job application process, real-world testing is actually production na. Yun yung production, di ba? Direct siya ka sa production. Actual interviews. Maybe you have access to mock interview training, but bihira yun eh. Do it na sa ano. This is the only uh, what's, what, what's, what's this called? Uh, aspect or whatever uh, in software development or in, in, in tech na okay lang mag-test sa production. Direct tsaka na sa production. Kasi, actual feedback na makukuha mo from companies, from employers, from recruiters. And that's very valuable. Kunwari, sige, nagsabit ka 100, 100 uh, applications. Mababa yung mababa yung success rate mo for getting interviews. Getting interviews pa lang, ha? not passing interviews. Ha? Sabihin natin 5%. Maybe there's something you need to tweak sa resume mo. And that's where you can experiment. No? Try A-B testing, di ba? Di ba? Ako, di ko pa nagawa to. Pero malay natin, di ba? Pwede rin kasi pag-experimentohan eh. Pag sabit ka ng magkahiwalay na versions ng resume mo and see what works, di ba? Diba? Ganda mo yung kulay nitong isa. Itong isa, walang kulay. Tignan mo kung ano yung mas effective. Mas gather data. Diba? Pagka data scientist ka or some or product, product um, or an, an aspiring product manager, that's already a skill set na parang napapractice mo na. Nag-AB test ka na. Diba? Iba rin yun. You make minor tweaks to your resume. You know? Tapos meron ka control and everything control set, tapos yung base set mo, tapos gather data, ano yung mas effective. Magandang exercise din, di ba? It's, you know, actually, baka gawin ko yan. Na, <laughs> naisip ko lang ngayon, pero parang interesting, di ba? Tingnan ko nga kaya kung gawin ko yan if ever na mag, mag-apply ulit ako for another job or look for other opportunities. Try ko rin yan, mag-AB AB testing ng resume. But, you see what I mean? na Treat this as an experiment. Huwag nyo siyang isipin na you have to you have to succeed agad sa mga interviews. Ano yun, di ba? Inter- 
Kasi wala. Ito nga, hindi pa nga natin pinag-uusapan ng interview talaga eh. Just getting that interview eh. Just applying eh. No? Yung mga submission nyo kung nagsasucceed. No? Taasan nyo yung success level. Kung babasahin nyo yung mga success stories sa Tech Career Shifter Philippines, ang baba na success rate. Kasi, ganun talaga. Mababa talaga na parang you submit 100 applications, onti lang yung, onti lang yung babalik, onti lang yung talaga sasagot sa'yo. From those na sumagot sa'yo, another smaller percentage yung talaga magasabi ng oo. And some of, some of them take hundreds of applications just to get that one yes. Isa lang naman eh. Just that one yes. Yes, kukunin ka na namin. Yes, pasok ka sa hinahanap namin. One out of 100, one out of 200, one out of 300. And that's normal. Lalo na pagka nagsisimula ka pa lang sa tech career mo. That's very normal. So, ang tatanong ka, may mga, a- ano po ba yung mga companies na, aside from, may common na company tayo naririnig dyan eh, Itago na lang natin sa pangalang uh, Axe. <laughs> so, si Company Axe. Axe Company. So, si Axe Company, yun usually yung naririnig natin na company na tumatanggap ng career shifters. Tapos ayun, usually na natatanong sa, sa communities is, aside po, 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 ba, po ba kay kay Axe Company, meron po pa, pa po bang other companies sa tumatanggap ng career shifters and usually walang sasagot sa iyo kasi no one never really knows oo may mga ling- mangilang-ilang diyan nakapasok sa ano oo nakapasok ako dito pero nakapasok na sila doon eh malamang yung mga position doon na fill na kasi nakapasok na sila tapos na yung uh, usually tapos na yung recruitment nung nung company na yon Unless, of course, sabihin niya, o dito may nag-a-apply pa, ay na, may opening pa. Pero usually, wala na. So, instead of asking those questions siguro, just apply. You know? Kahit na sabihin natin dito na, may other episode ako, ha? if ever na-miss nyo, may episode ako about yung requirements ng mga companies na yan na sobrang haba, na they don't really mean anything. But, huwag kayong matakot dun sa nakalista dun sa requirements nila. May mga required skills na hinahanap ng mga companies na yan. Usually, ano yan eh, hindi, hindi talaga yun yung hinahanap nila. Unless, makapasok ka dun sa interview, dun mo palang tatanungin. Ano ba talaga yung kailangan nyo? Pero usually, pagka naman na interview kayo, or, or, or na invite kayo for an interview, it means na, yung, kung ano yung talagang hinahanap nila, medyo, medyo, pasok ka. There's a high chance na baka you have those skills na hinahanap nila. So, nalampasan mo na agad yung first stage. Yung naman eh. Makuha mo lang naman yung interview eh. Tapos bahala ka na paano sila i-impress doon. Just that chance na ma-interview. Napakalaking bagay na yun. So, yun. Huwag kayong matakot. No? Huwag kayong matakot. Five years experience. Senior ang hinahanap. Eh, ano ngayon? Nakapasok ako sa... Eh, my first tech job was sa senior, senior role. Wala akong experience sa tech. So, it was possible for me. Kasi, hindi ko inatrasan. Parang, in-invite ako to apply for a senior role. O, di sige. I didn't have the experience? Why not? Right? I didn't really, I, I didn't back out. I, I didn't tell the recruiter na, I'm sorry, I don't have the experience. Eh. You're looking for a senior developer. I'm not a senior. Eh. Hindi ko sinabi yun. At hindi, hindi ko sasabihin yun. They reached out to me. I took the opportunity. Tapos, of course, I was, uh, sa loob-loob ko, senior ang hanap nila, malamang hindi ako makapasok. Malamang. Malibaltal do my best. And I did my best. Nakas- nakuha ko yung ano, nakuha ko yung opportunity and that was my first job. Senior agad. Imagine that. 
if it was possible for me, why won't it be possible for you? You know, why won't why 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 won't you apply for senior roles? Apply for senior roles. At tapos, there was actually another interview na pinuntahan ko, and I failed that interview. Another senior role na position. You no, know, when I was actually you know, when I was uh, starting out. So again, wala akong ano ah, wala akong experience in everything. Wala akong, actually, wala nga akong portfolio na nag apply ako kasi hindi, I didn't know back then na, na, na makakatulong siya. So, I just submitted, you know, uh, my resume. Tapos, I was invited for an interview. Senior rule to, ha? ha? So, they actually considered na baka pwede rin ako mag-senior. That was another uh, another company before ko makuha yung first, row, ano ko, first company. So, pagka-interview sa akin, bagsak. I didn't stand the chance kasi ang hirap ng no, no exam. But they saw in me through ano, through the through the conversation na I was willing to learn. So they were actually at the end of the interview, they offered me a role to be at a, I forgot the role, junior QA tester at a. So that role wasn't listed on their website or on sa sa kung bakit nila yun nakalimutan ko eh sa job street tata so doon sa job street job street nila wala yon di nakalagay so they offered me that role if only medyo desperado ako noon tinanggap ko yon eh hindi naman ako desperado nung panahong yon eh i was okay but if ever naarap napaisip talaga ako ay kunin ko na kaya to kasi gateway din to into tech eh sayang din but I declined kasi uh, sabi ko nga, hindi ako nagmamadali nun. Hindi naman ako desperadong makapasok sa tech nun. Although I really wanted to na. Sobrang attempt na ako. Buti na lang hindi ko tinanggap kasi a few months after that, dun na pumasok yung senior role na nakuha ko na. So, yun nga. No? Yung mga ganun din, ma-open yung mga ganun opportunities if you tried. No? If, I did, if, if I didn't try, no? imagine, kung desperado ako ng panahong yon, tapos hindi ako nag-try na mag-apply kahit senior role yung hinahanap. Node.js, I didn't even know Node.js uh, applications then, Parang front-end lang talaga ako. But I still uh, roll the dice, di ba? Malay mo eh. Malay mo, ma-impress mo sila eh. So, pagka-submit ko, ayun, doon ko nalaman na meron palang ibang opening. And if I didn't apply, kahit na I felt na I was, I was very unqualified, I wouldn't have known na meron pa pala silang ibang opening. That could have been, if I was desperate, then I could have grabbed that. You know, If I was really in need of a tech job, I could have grabbed that. You know? And I think a lot, a, lot, a lot of the career shifters din, ganun ang, ano eh, ang situation. Eh. They, were, they are actually currently desperate na. Eh. So, yung mga ganun na opportunities, hindi mo malalaman kung hindi ka, if you, if you, if you aren't willing to take that leap of faith. Again, from that experience, I learned a lot. Kasi nangingi din ako ng feedback. Saan ako pwede mag-improve? And I used that feedback to get that, finally, to get that senior role that I wanted. I got that senior role. Dahil doon sa feedback na yon. Kung gaya lang ako ng iba na pwede po ba ako mag-apply kahit ganito, kahit ganyan, Siguro I wouldn't have gotten that opportunity. Yung senior opportunity. Again, hindi ko sinasabi na lahat kayo makakuha ng senior role, pero malay nyo. No? You don't know if you don't try. Of course, shoot for the stars. Tapos, manage your, manage your expectations. Tapos, baka malay nyo, meron silang junior role na pasok pa rin sa kailangan nyo. No, pasok pa rin yung sweldo, pasok pa rin yung, yung working terms na hindi nyo alam, hindi nyo, na, hindi nyo malalaman kung hindi ko yung nag-apply dun sa senior role. Di ba? Hindi nyo alam eh. And most of these companies din kasi, busy rin yung HR nila or yung recruiters nila or maybe, like our company, wala kaming HR. Kami-kami talaga yung nag-recruit ng ibang developers. Hands-on kami. 
So maybe wala silang oras talaga mag-post ng ng ano ng lahat ng job openings nila. And yun yung ticket mo para malaman yung mga bagay na yon. Landing that interview. I think I have a previous episode then about the more entries you send, the more chances of winning. And this is very applicable dito. Huwag nyo na yung gatekeep pa sarili nyo. Just go for it. Mas bahala na silang mag-decide if you're worth, you know, if you're worth being giving a chance. You know, bubulalabul ako. If you're worth being given a chance. So, yeah. Yung mga tanong na ganon, dun lang talaga nagagaling, usually. Dun sa takot na baka I'm not good enough. Tanggapin nyo na yun, you're not good enough talaga. <laughs> When you're starting out, yun ganun talaga. But don't think of the interview process as something that you need to perfect. You can, it's not something you can improve on, but you can really perfect it. Iba-iba yung experience. Bawat interview. Never ako nagkaroon ng interview na pareho yung naging experience ko. Kahit siguro may interview ka two or twice sa isang company, iba yung magiging experience mo. Iba yung magiging dynamic nyo nung interviewer. Tsaka ikaw. Iba. Mas nag, ano pa eh, marami pang tanong dyan eh. Ano po yung mga usual na tinatanong? Ano ba yung mga usual na kailangan? You won't know that unless. Kasi walang standard eh. Hindi naman standardized dyan eh. And okay sana kung may sinusunod na standard yung mga companies na yan eh. Usually, wala. Ano? Wala. Kasi kanya-kanya rin sila ng business cases eh. Kanya-kanya rin sila ng mga kailangan na skills. There's no standard. Basically, that's it. There's no standard. Again, you will only know that during the interview. Kaya, yun nga, huwag kayong mahiyang magtanong ha, sa interview. During interviews, itanong nyo na lahat na kailangan nyo itanong. So, ang dami ko na nasabi. Medyo no, pa, ano tayo, pa zigzag, zigzag tayo eh, no? But the, uh, ano talaga, the summary of this, or the most important point that you need to get out of this episode is that, mag-apply ka lang. Just go and apply. Just go and get rejected. Okay lang yun. And hopefully, hopefully, after hundreds of applications, after hundreds of rejections, you'll get that one yes. Don't go, don't, don't gatekeep yourself. There's so much gatekeeping na sa mundo. And the worst that, y- that you can do, the worst that you can do to yourself is to gatekeep yourself. So don't do that. So this has been Kuya Dev and I'll see you next episode. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Kuya Dev Tidbits Podcast. I hope it will be helpful to you in your tech career journey. Remember, building a successful career in tech takes time and dedication. But with the right mindset and resources, anything is possible. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and colleagues. And if you have comments, suggestions, or any questions or topics you'd like to hear more about, feel free to email me at rem at kuya.dev. I'd also love to hear your own stories and experiences. So don't be shy, reach out and share them with me. I'm always here to support you in your tech journey. Do also join our community, Tech Career Shifter Philippines at www.techcareershifter.com. Until next time, keep learning, growing, and chasing your dreams. Thank you again for listening, and I'll see you in the next episode.